Salt. Salt or sodium chloride is a mineral made up of two essential nutrients, the sodium and chloride ions. Now when it comes to nutrition, you don't throw around the term essential loosely. It has a very precise meaning and refers to those nutrients that must be consumed in our food because our bodies cannot synthesize them. Almost all essential nutrients follow a characteristic biological pattern when we consume them. It is called the U-shaped curve. The common dose response to these nutrients experienced by both plants and animals. The famous French physiologist Gabriel Bertrand described the U-shaped relationship in 1912, more than a hundred years ago. What is now known as Bertrand's rule applies to essential nutrients and I'll show you how straightforward it is. Let's have a look at it. At very low levels of nutrient intake, there is an insufficient amount to support the full range of physiological functions it is required for. So there's a high risk of negative health effects. That's why these nutrients are called essential. Don't forget that sodium helps maintain the critical electrolyte balance of body fluids and is the key to proper blood circulation. It is also crucial to healthy nerve transmission and to proper muscle function. The chloride ion, on the other hand, combines with hydrogen in the stomach to make the powerful digestive acids responsible for food metabolism and the absorption of all nutrients from minerals to proteins to vitamins. Together with sodium, chloride is also essential for the vital electrical impulses that are transmitted throughout the body's nervous system. When you don't consume enough of the essential nutrient, you fall into the deficiency range. So you can see that if insufficient sodium and chloride are not consumed, your health suffers and you may even die. It's as simple as that. As the level of nutrient is increased to a point where the deficiency disappears, the adverse effects are reduced and you get into a state of good health. This broad, flat base of the U is called the safe hygienic zone. However, if you continue to increase the intake of nutrient, this will eventually lead to exceeding the hygienic range of good health, and you start approaching doses that may even be toxic. When this happens, negative health effects begin to reappear. Don't forget, even water can be toxic if you consume too much too quickly. So there you have it, the U-shaped curve, the classic dose response to all essential nutrients. Now here is where it starts to get interesting. The scientific evidence published in the latest issue of the American Journal of Hypertension reveals that the safe hygienic zone is in the region of 2700 to 4900 milligrams of sodium per day. This latest report follows on from a large Institute of Medicine review published in May 2013. Repeat, the safe hygienic range for salt is 2700 to 4900 milligrams of sodium per day. And wouldn't you know it, that is also the range of sodium consumed by every population around the world. Yes, regardless of location, culture, cuisine, or degree of economic development, all the populations around the world consume salt in the sodium equivalent range of 2700 to 4900 milligrams per day. But that shouldn't be a surprise, it's called the wisdom of the body. A theory first proposed by Professor Walter Cannon, the chairman of the Department of Physiology at Harvard Medical School back in 1932. The body knows through its own biological feedback mechanisms when enough is enough. But hold on a minute. That's not the range of sodium that the government recommends we should be consuming. The dietary guidelines for Americans say we should be consuming between 1,500 and 2,300 milligrams sodium per day. That's right, between 1,500 and 2,300 milligrams per day. But look at the U-curve. That's outside of the safe hygienic zone. That is the zone where you start to see increased risk to life. 
the danger zone. Yet the government continues to ignore the scientific data and recommends that we leave the safe zone and move into the high-risk area. You call that a rational scientific approach to health? The American Heart Association recommendations are even more appalling. The AHA recommends that we consume less than 1,500 milligrams sodium per day. Where does that place us? In the extreme danger zone. Remember, there is not a population in the world that consumes such a low level of salt, not one. Is the AHA trying to use us as guinea pigs to test the quack theory that's completely unsupported by science? Do they really think that their prestige is more important than the scientific evidence? That their opinion trumps the actual scientific data? That's exactly the sort of thinking that kept us in the dark ages for centuries, believing that the sun revolves around the earth. Remember, the U-shaped curve has been well established by science for more than a century and our bodies know exactly where on that curve we ought to be. So remember the U-shaped curve, because it's all about you. Salt!